TV.com, YouTube, what's going on with our special guest star who isn't even paying attention? Oh. And he's holding some of my sword or well, daggers. Oh, yeah. And uh, today we're going to do some maintenance on this new 10 gallon Serpe Central tank. Alright, man, we need to try and kill somebody. Alright. Maybe he is going to try to kill me, though. But uh, we got this new plant in. I got the mother colony up in the 29 gallon. This is, uh, forgive me if I murder the pronunciation, pronunciation. Polygumnum kawagoyamnum. I think it's some Korean plant or something. I know it's Asian. And then this one right here. I got the mother colony over there too. That's a tyranithra renikia. Something like that. Renikia or something. So what are we going to do today, man? We're going to change the water and clean the filter. Hang on the back filter. You guys know I love them. The Aquion is what I use on bio wheels better, but Aquion is the second to best. Also, <clears throat> Nick, run us through the plants. Well, I remember I was here last in that video. I had um, the moss the ball. ball. Yeah, and uh, check it out, man. You ain't seen these yet. The sexy plant in the back, that uh, yeah. narrow leaf luigia in the back, you see it? Ooh, uh, I'll buy one of it's kind of getting hard to see because uh, it's getting grown up. I haven't been dosing as much, but uh, when I first got them, they were like a really brilliant red. Oh, he's too worried about my swords, he ain't worried about it. And uh, check out the indica right here. This rotala, how much it spread. Now some of them I've gotten little trimmings, make little, little, uh, little uh, new colonies, but a lot of that is just sprouting through runners. Over here, oh, we got man. it too. Look, you found stars in where? Oh, we gotta play that later. The last time I was here, I was like, about a couple months ago? Nah, it was like, two weeks ago. Yeah. Man, you had like, man, Don't last time blast. I saw it, it was like, it's turned into the, the pumpkinish orange. Oh, you're talking about the serpes? Yeah. Yeah, the color, they really get intense. Shane, look out. My surveys are catching up with yours. That's what's going on with that, guys. Yesterday, I did a trimming in this tank. So, I don't think I'm going to do a trimming today. I might on the wisteria because that stuff grows like fuck. Um, <clears throat> all the plants are doing extremely well. And uh, Blackbeard is slowly starting to die. And uh, let's, let's get this thing together. First of all, I want to tell you a good way <coughs> to uh, store all your equipment. Open that bucket with me. I can't do it with one hand. Open that bucket up. Not with a dagger. There you go. All right, we're putting him to work today. All right, yeah. A good way to get all your equipment, like just to keep it in one place, is you got a bucket. Put it in there, you know. Put all your stuff you need in there. And uh, I mean, that's, this is the only thing I use for fish tank. Well, fresh water. <coughs> Some food in there. Some siphoning stuff and black carbon. Um, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Some chemicals have leaked. It's not good. Anyways, um, what we're gonna do, the first thing that, hey, what is the first thing we're gonna do? We're gonna do a water change. Alright, so what we're, what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna take our heater, I mean our, um, this tank doesn't have a heater. Uh, we're gonna unplug that filter so we don't get too much water flow going everywhere. Good. Alright, so we got a siphon too. This might be a little too long. I might have to get another one, but, uh, yeah. Well, I usually do. Couldn't you cut it? Huh? Yeah, I could. I got another yeah. one too. That's why I said we can switch it with a different siphon tube. Simple gravity. Everybody knows how to start a siphon. If you don't, here you go. Suck it. And you got a siphon. When I do water changes, uh, a lot of people wonder when they first set up a dirt tank. I think this is some good knowledge right here. Do you siphon the gravel? Well, no you don't. Because one, I believe that poop and waste is fertilized in the plants and keeps the soil rich kind of like uh, farmers with their crops and stuff they put fertilizer down and uh, another thing is I don't siphon the gravel is because you would just you would you would mess up the uh, the dirt and all that dirt would come up and we're having a sideways view today and uh, check out the water and uh, that's what's going on with that. And I'm gonna take out five gallons because look at this. Look at this. That's what the that's what the uh, the, the driftwood does in the dirt. It, is, it, it gives off a, yeah, it gives off a tannishing look because this driftwood isn't cured 
The one I have on the Cutter. Anubius and the Rainbow Tank, uh, Beta Lagoon, that's cured driftwood. And you think this water looks clean, look at it. I mean, it looks really clean, but look at the bucket. <coughs> it's not clean at all. It's a lot of crap. Yeah, and that water's fish yeah, waste. And I mean, yeah. yeah it's it, black water, look, because it's perfectly uh, safe for the fish. And uh, driftwood will lower your pH, so you do have to watch out for that. So, regular water changes like this is good. I've got Amazon fish in here, so they like a low pH anyways. But I got a beta in here too. I mean, he's he's very hardy betas. I always say you can raise him in the toilet. But uh, I mean, whatever. So uh, plants are gonna like this big water change. I'm gonna dose more cell, more iron, potassium, the whole nine yards. And uh, I'm just gonna take a, leave it at that right there. And you go get the water, Nick. That's some pretty nasty stuff right there. <coughs> to give you the water, man. Yeah. All right, hold it. And I'm gonna show you how to clean your um, hang on the back filters. What I do is just take my Odyssey light and turn it over here. All right, see if you can get over to this uh, filter and look at it. All you got to do for the um, Aquion, this is the bi one of the bio plates. It doesn't, it doesn't have much bi uh, bacteria, I mean it has bacteria build up, but it doesn't have any much waste build up. So I can leave that right there for right now. Once it gets dirty, I would just take some uh, water from the tank. Get down here. I'll just take some water from the tank and uh, wash it off from that. Don't want to lose that bacteria over the sink. Um, this is also the second bio plate. Just leave that in there. And this is the filter plate. This is the nasty stuff. Take a look at that. Oh my god! This hasn't been changed since the day one. And actually, I'm just going to take all that carbon out. And uh... How, and how long have you had this? I don't know. When did I set this tank up? A month and a half ago? So it's way overdue and you can see the stuff coming out of it. Look at the water just turning black. And I'm not even going to change this filter pad because I think that bacteria is on there. And I'm just, I'm, in my saltwater world, I'm so, I'm so scared of losing bacteria. And I know you don't need as much in fresh water, but uh, I'm just, I'm very paranoid about bacteria. So I want to keep that on there. And what I'm going to do is uh, get some carbon, some new carbon and put it back in there. Look at the water. Look at the water. That was in my tank. So my ammonia and nitrite, well I don't have any ammonia or nitrite, but uh, my nitrate is definitely going to drop. You thought the tank was clean? Think again. This came out of that clean 10 gallon. That's weird. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? That's the stuff that... Not that. I mean this. Oh yeah. But uh, cut the video. We're going to get some... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Alright, done. So we, uh, we just cleaned up the filter. And uh, I'm not going to run over the sink water just yet because, like I said, I don't want to lose the yeah. bacteria. So well, I, this is the carbon I use in all my fresh water tanks. Simply from Walmart. I'm running a little low. I'm going to get some more later. Aquatech. I don't get that good expensive stuff. I heard you can use Black Magic or Purigen or whatever it's called for plants. But uh, I just haven't really looked into it because I, I overstocked my plant load. So I, I believe I heavy stock plant load. Yeah, stop me. People trying to watch it. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, I believe... I believe I heavy stock my plants and I low stock in fish. Um, I don't really need a good carbon. I mean, as long as I'm doing my water change, which is the best filter. Come on, man. I'm trying to show them how to do a uh, oh. filter change, whatever. Hey, fuck it. I, I, don't, I don't know a lot about fish. I don't overdo my carbon. I mean, this is enough right here for a 10 gallon, but I should put like... Five of those spoonfuls, six. I guess I'll stop, stop at seven. That's a good number. I don't know. Seven is a good number. How much you pull it up? Use that another day. Right now, you, God dang, this thing. I cut today on the knife. Ooh, but uh, it's going to run over some sink water and get that black out. See the look down there. I don't know if they can see it on camera. That black coming out. That's just the powder. It's perfectly safe for your fish. It's just going to make the tank look uh, black and uh, yeah. back up on the edge. What do you call it? It'll settle down after a while, but... Then it'll, it'll just build up again. So we put the carbon in there, halfway full of the filter cartridge, and uh, follow the video, man, we're just going to go back up there. Alright, so we've got a new filter cartridge. We're just going to place that back in the bio plate. One good thing about Optimions is uh, you do not have to climb them. You plug them in, they automatically start. I'm also going to take uh, this little intake tube right here. I just cleaned it last night, but... What's that noise? That... Oh, it's a rabbit drinking the water. And uh, I just cleaned that out a little. 
And then we'll put it back into the intake outlet. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Hey. Myself. <laughs> Crap. Crap. <laughs> Alright, so we got that going. Take one look at more more look at this mask of water. Down here. That came out of ten gallon. So we're gonna come back at you with the uh, clean water. That's the that'll be it. What's up guys? We're back at the final little part. You saw the water earlier, look at this water. I did not do this without spilling it. Big difference. This tank is gonna be sparkling. Now I don't need um dechlorinated for my water, but I use it anyways, because it's got beneficial stuff in there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just put a little bit in there. I overdose it. Other people say you can overdose and kill your fish. Yeah, you do, but I don't overdose it that much. <laughs> now what we're gonna do that is take much. a little bit. I gotta get some more of this stuff. Let's get a little too much. That was too much. That was um, like this. I'm son of a. Godly. Oh my God. Do not get that in your cut. Get what? That I don't. That what was that? Ken Aqua Garden. Oh my God! What happened? That stung like a. That stung worse than yeah. hospital. Yeah. All right. You cut me, then put some out of me. No, man, that hurt. Oh, well, that's not just, that just sounded emo. Yeah, it did. We'll put some iron in there. Not like more of this. That actually does look like it. And uh. Take some potassium for the rotalas. I love my sexy rotalas. Boosh. That's just clear. Whoa, yeah. that's not clear. What else? What else? Oh, yeah. God, that stings. Look at this. Rabbit cut. Rabbit cut. Knife cut. What I mean by rabbit. Pardon me. Aim on the bucket. What I mean by rabbit cut, um, the rabbit was kicking and he got me. Which one? A uh, little brown one over there. White and brown. Or that one. Sugar plum. Uh, we're taking some celery. It's that black. black. No, the brown one. Hey, oh, oh, oh yeah. that one. Got it. Mm. Don't get. That's like ten times worse than peroxide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding, man. Don't put. Okay, we just learned a lesson. Man, you gotta aim that camera right, man. Every time I watch this video. <laughs> okay. So let me get this straight. Do not get fish stuff in cuts. Yeah, it hurts. All right, so I'm just gonna take this thing right here. That's weird because fish don't feel pain. No, fish feel pain. And you can see what the iron does. Look at the water. It does. It does um, turn a little. Well, you really can't see it on camera, can you? Yeah. It does turn a little more yellow, but uh, nothing compared to that was before. So what I'm gonna do? Aim the camera in the tank, man. It's going to be the final step of the water change. And uh, I'm using the cup right now because I don't want to uproot all those, all, I repeat, all those plants I have in here. So I have to put all that with the cup. Yeah, um, once I get... I'm going to let the right here. 